Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, June the 21st. It's the second week after Pentecost, and week five in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 97 to 120. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 12 to 26. And now please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King serve God with cheerful heart and God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, oh how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Hallelujah, Psalm 119. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I gain understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn that I will perform, and I will keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply afflicted, O God. Give me life according to your word. Accept offerings from my mouth and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I've inclined my heart to perform your statutes always, even to the end. I hate vain thoughts, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live and not be ashamed. Hold me up and I shall be safe. I will always respect your statutes. You have trodden down them that stray from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is in vain. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles in fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Hallelujah. A reading from 1 Samuel chapter 2, beginning at verse 12. Now Eli's sons were scoundrels, and they paid no heed to Yahweh. This is how the priests used to deal with the people. When anyone brought a sacrifice, the priest's boy would come along with a three-pronged fork while the meat was still boiling, and he would thrust it into the cauldron or the kettle of the great pot or the small cooking pot, and whatever the fork brought up, the priest would take away on it. This was the practice at Shiloh, with all the Israelites who came there. 
But now, even before the suet was turned into smoke, the priest's boys would come and say to the man who was sacrificing, Hand over some meat to roast for the priest. He won't accept boiled meat from you, only raw. And if the man said to him, Let them first turn the suet into smoke, and then take as much as you want, he would reply, No, hand it over at once, or I will take it by force. The sin of the young men against Yahweh was very great, for the men treated Yahweh's offerings impiously. Samuel was engaged in the service of Yahweh as an attendant, girded with a linen ephod. His mother also would make a little robe for him and bring it up to him every year when she made the pilgrimage with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife and say, May Yahweh grant you offspring by this woman in place of the loan she made to the Most High. Then they would return home. For the Most High took note of Hannah, and she conceived and bore three sons and two daughters. Young Samuel, meanwhile, grew up in the service of Yahweh. Now Eli was very old, and when he heard all that his sons were doing to all Israel, and how they lay with the women who performed tasks at the entrance of the tent of meeting. He said to them, Why do you do such things? I get evil reports about you from the people on all hands. Don't, my sons. It is no favorable report I hear, the people of Yahweh spreading about. If a man sins against a man, the Most High may pardon him. But if a man offends God, who can obtain pardon for him? But they ignored their father's plea, for the Most High was resolved that they should die. And young Samuel, meanwhile, grew in esteem and favor, both with God and with men. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Most high God, save us, for we seek your precepts and love to do your will. Accept our praise as we sing your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah! This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.